Construction services uh, here to give you some more updates on Detroit news you can use kind of catch you all up to speed uh, so we're just going to jump right into it Birmingham developer buys a north end building now y'all have been watching me since I pretty much first got serious into my company back in 2014 2015 I have been preaching about the north end for the longest I'm born and raised in Detroit I grew up on the north end so I know what it used to look like and how it looks like a piece of shit right now. But that piece of shit is worth a lot of money because a lot of people are moving there. I just got a contract to do a house over there from a couple who moved from California. It tells you a lot. So properties over there are doing really, really good. All right. Anyway, the buyer's name is Neil Check or Cheek. Uh, he owns a Southfield based sound check and tech home building company. He paid $1.27 million for this 39,000 square foot building, which is insane. I know what building they're talking about. Are you serious? It sold for that? But it did. Um, it's going to be called the North End Loss. That name is, uh, I don't know if it's confirmed. Uh, it's going to be one and two bedroom units. The address is 40 Hag Street at right at the corner of Woodward Avenue. So that's dope. Um... A $30 million development called The Corner has finally broke ground at Old Tiger Stadium. It's going to be four stories, 111 unit mixed use apartments, and 26,000 square feet of commercial space building at Michigan and Trumbull in Corktown. That's where the Old Tiger Stadium was. They tore it down. It's been a big plot of land lately. Neighborhood baseball teams been playing on it for the last couple years, doing little pickup games. And now uh, Detroit Pal builds a little mini little stadium for the kids to play on, which I thought was amazing. Um, and now they broke ground on the other park for the new uh, condos and lofts that's coming. So more than half of the retail space will be offered at 50% of market rate. It's going to take one year to build it. 20% will be affordable housing. This is on the other section of Old Tiger Stadium at the other houses, the corner, which is the new baseball field for Detroit Pal and minor leagues. Detroit Pal is the police athletic league. They have been around my whole life and some. They have baseball teams and basketball teams and football teams. Um, Detroit Development plans 70 new renovated homes in the north end. Hello, just was talking about that. Grand Mott and Rosedale neighborhood. There hasn't been any new residential building in Detroit in a very long time, give or take a few here and there. So this is dope. Their initial investment is $6.5 million. The first phase of homes are expected to be completed by March of 2019. Uh, units will be sold at market rate of $100,000 up to $300,000. 14 will be reserved for affordable housing. A multi-phase project to build 52 new homes and renovate 18 current homes in Detroit's North End, Hello, and Grandmont Rosedale neighborhoods. Phase 1 includes the construction of 12 new homes and the renovation of 7 homes in the North End in the area bound by Marson Street, Philadelphia, John R., and Woodward. I keep telling y'all, the North End is where it's at. If you want properties over there, you need to hit me up. If you got houses over there, you need a rehab, you need to hit me up. When that RFP comes out, I'm bidding on it. Um, real quick, I would like to say with all this new construction going on in Detroit, and this is one thing I love about Michigan, they have it in the law that if you want certain tax credits or whatever like that, you have to have so many of your units available for uh, affordable housing. So that I think is dope. Excuse me, a little thirsty. That I think is amazing because... They're not just building it just for the people who can afford it. They're making sure that they have so many for people who would love to live there but can't afford $300,000. Maybe they can only afford $100,000. And I think that's dope. So we need more of that. So that concludes. Uh, this one was pretty quick because I'm kind of trying to catch y'all up real quick with my Detroit News You Can Use segment. Stay tuned. I'll be posting more videos. 
Also, I am currently planning the Detroit, the real Detroit real estate tour. It will be hosted by myself and maybe one or two others. In this tour, I will take you through Detroit to the North End and other neighborhoods that are up and coming where you should start purchasing. If you are a sit and wait type of person, if you just want to get in and fix and flip, and those are not the neighborhoods for you because that hasn't happened yet. But, uh, yeah, on this tour also, you will be provided like a list of must-have contact information that you need, such as good property managers, brokers, real estate agents, contractors, <laughs> me, hello, um, the city of Detroit, uh, numbers that you need when purchasing property here, uh, great title companies to work for, but that's always a, a call that I get a lot, so I'm just going to put that list together and provide it with that. I will also probably make that list available for people to purchase. It'll probably be like 10 bucks or something like that, but it's worth it. And it will also be in my ebook that I have coming out as well on Detroit. So stay tuned for all of that. The The real Detroit real estate tour will be $1,500 per person. It's only 30 seats available on this bus. That's it. So once they're gone, they're gone. I've been doing this tour for the last couple of years in my car. And I'm tired of doing it in my car. For one, my car only holds five people, including the driver. And usually it's a one-on-one -on -one thing. And it's just easier if I can just be on a bus setting with a microphone and talk even better. And then do it in front of a group of people. So uh, you can comment below with your email or just email me or text me personally. And I can add you to the email blast once it goes out. But once it's full, it's full. Uh, I believe, I predict that this will do really well. And if it does, if my prediction comes true, then I will do this again. But maybe next year because I'm planning to do this in either August or September of this year before it gets cold. So it will more than likely be during the week because it's the roads are not... It's, I don't know if it's better to do during the week on the weekend. I guess I have to get some feedback. If it is on the weekend, the price will probably be a little higher because the bus will cost me more on the weekend. Uh, we will provide lunch because this is going to be an all-day thing. We're talking like 9 to 5, maybe 6 p.m. Because Detroit is a big-ass city. We're going to go downtown throughout the whole east side and then back to the west side. Detroit is a really big city, square mile ride. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. So, you can contact me at 313- Two eight 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 zero five one. I gotta get this camera thing together. I'm sorry, but we gonna work on that. But uh, thank you for tuning in. Subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Distant Construct Serve. Um, and go over to DCSLLC.pro to get on the mailing list for all my construction news. Or you can leave below and I'll add you if you like. But have a great day, deuces. Everybody. Huh.